All right, y'all. Uh, it's like 9.40 right now. I just left um, the gym. Um, the team had to do a conditioning test today, so we were just there to support, and then we just was chatting it up, but there's practice later today. So I'm gonna stick around the area, but I'm gonna go to um, Coffee Bean so I can just like get some work done. Um, knock out a couple things I'm behind on project-wise. But yeah. <laughs> making decisions big or small um sometimes like not sometimes but most of the time pretty much all the time you got to kind of go with what gives you the most like like inner peace with that being said that doesn't mean the like the, the thing that always necessarily makes you feel the safest or the thing that like makes you feel the most comfortable it's just when you really dig down deep into your soul and you really think about, okay, like, can my soul be at peace if I choose this right now? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have a big decision to make, like, say it's like, if you're going to pursue a new career path, like, it may feel scary. It may feel like, like, not logical at the time because maybe you, it means you have to leave your old job or maybe it means you're gonna have to take a pay cut or maybe it means you're gonna have to kind of be in limbo for a while of not knowing where your next paycheck is coming from maybe you're gonna have to like learn something new and there's gonna be a learning curve and it's gonna be hard all of that stuff doesn't necessarily mean that you won't have inner peace like the way i like to think about it is like if you think about i don't know like 50 60 years from from now from where you are right now and you look back on your life like how are you gonna feel about that making that decision like are you gonna always look back and be like oh like like what if what if i did do that thing that i had wanted to do but i was too scared to do it you know what i'm saying like versus like like looking back and being like okay like i did that and that either was you know a very pivotal moment in my life and it helped me kind of grow and just change for the better and you know or it could have been like well either way i made that decision and now i know that that path wasn't for me but the only way i could have found out is by you know taking that leap making that decision so when it comes to decisions like that like like sometimes it's not going to make sense to other people but if you know within your own self that you can be at peace with it then like then you just got to go with that you got to go with that feeling because you know it's about you and god at the end of the day and you guys you know kind of have that relationship to kind of understand and know like where to turn next but the biggest thing is you don't want to have any regrets in life and you know you don't want to want to make decisions that cause you turmoil with your with your soul with yourself you know what i'm saying you don't want to be at odds with yourself by making certain decisions like something genuinely doesn't feel right it genuinely doesn't sit right with you in your heart, in your soul, in your gut, you know, like, and that's probably not for you. Even if everyone on the outside is telling you you should, or on paper, it looks like, like the right decision, you know, only you know you, and you really have to try to get in touch with that, like, and another way to cope with that is just think about all the possibilities, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I like to think of all the worst case scenarios and the best case scenarios. And even then, even when I do think about all that, like there's scenarios I can't think of because God is so great that he's going to always surprise you. You know what I'm saying? You can't think of everything. You you have no idea what he's doing. You never will. But just to give yourself some like some peace of mind and just some, I don't know, just to help your logical brain, like figure things out sometimes, just like go through the list of like, okay, like say I make this decision 
and it ends up really bad like what is the worst that could happen from that one decision you know what i'm saying and odds are like the worst isn't even the worst like it's it, the worst isn't even that bad and if you can like 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 uh if you can like reason with yourself and just understand that like like understand that like like even if the worst were to happen like you're still gonna be okay right and you kind of have to just be like at peace with that as well just be like okay well if that doesn't work out and then xyz occurs and it's my worst case scenario okay then i'm back to you know square one but at least you have thought about it you least you've already like known that it's a possibility and so you're mentally like like prepared you know what i'm saying and same thing with best case scenario like i feel like you can't i feel like you can't always just prepare for the worst i feel like you always have to give yourself that chance to also consider the best that could happen to you because so many great things could come out of you know unexpected turns and just um you know making those hard decisions that you know you can't even see a way out of but they will end up working out anyway so um so yeah that's just i don't know I hope that made sense. I feel like I kind of just like get it all scrambled up in my head sometimes and try to give you guys like the best explanation that I could of what I'm like feeling and thinking. But but like, I, and I also feel like with more experience and just working on, you know, having that discernment of what's for you and what's not for you will really help with like figuring out what brings you true peace. You know what I'm saying? And what sits right with you, so.